with much regret, we leave this paradise of splendor to be on our way for Russia. Russia is a land of great distances. On our trip to Crimea's capital, Bakhchisarai, we pass a sight quite in contrast to what we have been enjoying, the ruins of the dead city of Chufut Kalai. It is claimed that this city was built 400 years before our era and bore the name Sela Yehudim, meaning Jews Rock. These remains of dim antiquity remind us of the great migrations from the cradle of the race in Asia to Crimea. We feel a great solitude as we wander through the remains and see the caverns of this dead city. Here we are at Bakshizarai, the capital of the Khans in 1428, and now the capital of the Crimea. It is picturesquely studded with stately mosques and minarets. The Khans palace was built in the middle of the 16th century, and it is still a place of rare beauty. It is a town of many legends and old traditions. It lies sheltered by great mountains steeped in its romantic past. It has ever attracted the minds and pens of great writers and poets. The great Pushkin was inspired here. The winding cobblestone streets still hold typical eastern aspects, and the town shows many signs of ancient sufferings, having been burned twice by the Russian troops in their Crimean warfare with the Turks. But with all the troubled past and seeming poverty, the people of the town seem quite content. The business of the capital of Crimea goes along as endlessly as do the streams that flow through the valleys. In this vicinity, there are many ancient ruins and cave towns. White marble monasteries are found hidden in great cuts in the cliffs. Fortresses are found hidden in the rocks. Castles and palaces perch perilously on mountain tops a sight too beautiful to miss. <laughs> 